This next slide is an introduction to the next phase of this presentation. What happens to the continental crust and in part the, the oceanic crust when we increase Earth radius? And this is all, uh, alluding to a mechanism for mountain building and seismic activity and volcanic activity, etc. Shown here is a cross section of a primitive Earth, the Permian Pangaean Earth, at 50% of the present Earth radius, and the uh, present day Earth. I've also shown uh, a little fragment of, uh, a, uh, of a primitive crust, uh, just one small fragment, and this is about 5,000 kilometres uh, uh, diameter, about the size of the present day European continent. I've omitted, uh, for clarity, I've omitted the rest of the crust. So what happens when we increase radius is we get a progressive, we'll just see if that animation works, yep. We just get a progressive flattening of that surface curvature. Now this is a very important point to, uh, to, uh, to accept, is that you get a flattening of this surface curvature and also a, an extension of that uh, component, that uh, radial component through here, sorry, the cord length through here. Um, this doesn't happen all at once. It happens um, over a project, projected period of time, over a full period of time. The, uh, the elevation, the difference in elevation we're talking about is around about 580 kilometres of this material must collapse, progressively collapse. So uh, as the Earth progressively increases in radius, you're getting, you're getting first off you're getting uh, a, a slight super elevation of the continental material. As you get both sets of both crusts joined together, you get a super elevation in the, co in the continents, hence the, hence the uh, continental um, crust, so, sorry, the, the primitive continent, super continents, and, and within uh, the adjoining areas, the areas of the continental seas, the depressed areas. As you then progressively flatten that crust, you get compression within those continental sea areas, compression, folding of these soft sediments, uh, any jostling, you get mountain building and volcanic activity, and also introduction of metals and uh, granites and volcanic rocks. I guess this, this is what I find uh, throughout history is that this is generally pulsed. You get super elevation, collapse, and also erosion of that uh, crust, the elevated crust and weakening of that central area and collapse again, uh, compression to form your mountain belts, extension, basin forming sediments, new sediments, compression to form new, new mountains and so on. We'll just hone in a little bit closer to, and this is a, a schematic representation of what happens to the crust itself. So what's shown here is uh, the continental crust, about 30 to 70, 80 kilometres thick, overlying the mantle, which is hot, plastic, uh, superheated, uh, and the starting, off, starting off of a, a, a shallow continental sedimentary basin and overlain by, by water, or by shallow seas. As you get radial increase, this is transferred to the crust as crustal extension. So you can imagine this as being, say, a piece of plasticine or, or, a, or a toffee or something. You stretch that over a very long period of time, you get stretching and elongation. And a very good example of the rocks that uh, would form in here are down in the foyer. If you go down the foyer, look at the floor, <coughs> look out, out in the, uh, the mall there. These uh, Nisic rocks have a very stretched, elongate, uh, attenuated fabric. This is typical of this environment. If you continue to stretch that crust, you then start getting faulting, what we call listric faulting along these margins. And a classic example of this is the, um, the Red Sea between Africa and, and, and Arabia, uh, where the margins of this sea are fault, fault bound, these classic listric faults. Continuing on with that extension process, we then get into a, a continental scale where we get a breakup of this and um, uh, fragmentation to form the modern continents and the modern oceans, the modern ocean basins, and then migration. Oops, that's a little animal. 